first, we really have to take into consideration the fact that uh, agri agriculture and the fishery sector in the country suffered a lot because of El Nino. I have actually prepared a recommendation uh, to be submitted to uh, the economic cluster of the cabinet for the consideration or approval of the president to uh, really rehabilitate Philippine agriculture. And uh, we really have to look at uh, food production as a priority because this is a commitment of the president. We would like to uh, really uh, push our efforts in uh, high value crops. The Philippines uh, under the Duterte presidency, the presidency of uh, President Rudy Duterte, uh, will um, attempt to regain our uh, status as the number one coconut producing country in the world. Uh, over the next six years, uh, we expect to uh, be able to uh, plant an additional, additional 600,000 hectares of coconut all over the country. Uh, but the approach would now be not just monocrop, but uh, uh, dual cropping. Say coconut uh, with cacao, uh, coconut with coffee, coconut with abaca, and coconut with other products. We are also looking at potential production areas for rice and I'm targeting an additional 1 million hectares. The approach to irrigation will be totally different now. Uh, on the advice of the president, we will do away with big uh, and expensive infrastructure projects like mega dams, you know, which uh, would take years before they are completed. Sir, let's go back to El Nino. Farmers are still recovering from El Nino. What are your initial plans or concrete plans to address this? I would like to look at uh, the effects of El Nino in uh, the same perspective as uh, dealing with, uh, with the situation in the aftermath of Yolanda. You know, the extent of damage to Philippine agriculture and fishery by El Nino could be uh, comparable to Yolanda minus the, minus the bodies. Uh, that's, how, that's how bad it is. I am estimating about uh, 30 billion pesos. Um, and um, I'll have to confer with uh, the Secretary of the Department of Finance and the uh, Secretary of uh, the Department of Budget Management to uh, present the proposal to them. President-elect Rodrigo Duterte ordered you to stop corruption in the sector. How do you plan to go about this? What I'm intending to do, and I'm forming the group right now, is uh, to form an intelligence group uh, which would uh, monitor all of these projects, uh, go down to the level of the beneficiaries, and ask them whether they really benefited they really received the project and they benefited from it uh, so that we'll be able to come up with a feedback uh, uh, from the beneficiaries themselves. Number two, we will have to make sure that the projects are uh, uh, built in accordance to specifications. 